everyone, it's me, Steph, the Alternerd. Your nerdy alternative filling in as usual for Andy whilst he is off on his holiday. He will be back tomorrow for the live streams. However, I have him right now live from Mexico. How are you doing, Andy? A Mexican air. I'm live in a Mexican airport. And everybody, please thank Steph for cash at Steph Alternerd. Well, I've heard such good things. I've, I've been limited online, but I checked from time to time and everyone was give, raving on how well you did. So thank you, Steph. And thank you for tipping me off on this story. I can't believe it. <laughs> this story is wild. Oh, it's absolutely nuts. And you guys, apologies for a little bit of the reception where Andy is. Like we said, he is in Mexico at the moment. We're trying to do our best. However... Definitely does sound like Amber is in need for a little bit of moolah at the moment since the verdict because it has just broken in the last 24 hours that she has sold her Yucca Valley home for over $1 million. Has apparently scored a major profit as a result. Um, so it was long rumoured to belong to Amber Heard since the trial earlier on this year and it was recently sold for $1 million. $50,000 uh, with a closing date of 18th of July. And this was according to Zillow Property Records. Now, it was originally purchased back in 2019 through an anonymous trust that reportedly has ties to Amber. I wonder which trust that may have been, Andy, <laughs> since everything has come out. Um, all I'm going to say is uh, Elon Musk, anyone? Uh, opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. But Or, or the ACLU. Mm. Could also be the ACLU stuff. Let's not forget, they have heavy pockets too. True, true. But uh, it was quietly snapped at the time for just over $578,000. So she's made over half a million dollars in profit looking at this there or thereabouts. Now, TMZ have been able to contact the owner of the new uh, property and he told us that, yes, in fact, he had been dealing with Amber Heard's people on this deal, but never Amber directly. So, first and foremost, as we knew... Since the verdict, and she owes Johnny Depp 10.35 million, although if you minus the 2 million, it's 8.35. Yeah, she needs to raise some money and quick uh, to pay off that judgment, regardless of this dumb appeal that's going through at the moment. And it looks like, Andy, someone might be coming to the rescue for that. Have you heard? that apparently she's got an offer from a triple X adult entertainment industry company for like $10 million. This is the letter, guys. Um, so it's from Zen Models. Now, as you look into Zen Models, it is a, um, a uh, female-owned led company for the adult entertainment industry for all those that are into that kind of thing. Now, just before we get into this a little bit, bit of a disclaimer, make your coin however you want to do. This isn't to shame, this yes. isn't to belittle. You make your coin however you want to do it, whether it's in the adult industry or whatever. Make that coin, take that money. I ain't got no problem with that. However, <laughs> maybe this isn't the way that Amber Heard thought her career trajectory would have been going. So this letter is dated 17th of June, apparently addressed from Zen Models CEO to Elaine, uh, saying, uh, Dear Miss Bredehoft, <laughs> my name is Veronica Majarian. I'm president of Zen Models Management Inc. Zen Models is an adult modeling agency and production company. We've been in contact with a group of adult film production companies that are interested in offering Ms. Heard a contract to perform in an adult entertainment video production. Our group is willing to pay Ms. Heard the sum of $8 million to start in an adult entertainment production. Additional sums of $1 million each would be paid to Children's Hospital and the ACLU in her name. If she's interested in this offer, please contact me at the above email. The terms of a participation, location of production and all the relevant details would obviously have to be worked out. Please let me know if Ms. Heard would consider this opportunity. 
very true, yours, Veronica. And just as an added little bonus, guys, it sounds like a Binion Conspiracy Theory, whatever, she might actually have a little bit of experience in said adult industry. Again, no shaming, no nothing, but something that's come out of the unsealed documents, and this, uh, I saw this from Andrea Burkhart at A. Burkhart Law on Twitter. If you're not following her, follow her. She knows facts. Um, and she did a little bit of a screen capture of this that you're looking on screen right now, you guys. This is from Elaine, and it says, And Ms. Heard's brief stint working at a strip club just after moving to LA to start an acting career, also has nothing to do with her relationship with Mr. Depp years later or whether he was a monster to her. So she has allegedly got an offer to star in a triple X movie for $10 million, 2 million of which going to charities. And it looks like she might have experience of this, albeit a small one, but uh, Andy. Thoughts, reactions. I, I want to know how much they're going to offer Elaine for her video. Is what I'm more curious about. Uh, what she take it? Uh, been some weird celebrity takes. Uh, look, this is silly. She's not going to take it. As I've thought about this, when you sent me last night, she really should consider it. Like, because the reality is, like, this wipes her whole debts clean, and it's not even just about her debts to Johnny. It starts over. She gets to give the donations to charity. There's no excuses for it. She's clearly done this before. We've seen her in private send uh, the Tonto pics to Johnny. Like she's complained to Johnny that he wouldn't let her do, you know, stuff like that in movies. Like, okay, well now no one's stopping you. Now you're gonna make a buck. Why? What's the shame in it at this point? You know, there's a part of me that does think, dude, why? Why would you not take this and just get out, tap out, and then check out and get your money, be clean, and be done. I mean, she's not gonna, she's gonna play better and some people just aren't into that. And I, you know, respect it is what it is. But I mean, the whole thing is just silly. I wonder how serious the company is, is the other thing. Like, do they really have the capital to do it? Are there really $10 million worth of people that would pay? Probably. I remember once, I mean, the Cash Me Outside girl went on OnlyFans and she made millions by just posting like a bikini photo on that site. Um, as did, uh, who's the other girl? Um, I'm drawing a blank, Bella Thorne. Like, yeah. Amber would probably do better than both of those times 10. So there's definitely money to be made if she were to do it. She probably could do it OnlyFans and make more money and not have to go extreme triple. You know what I'm saying is the other thing. Maybe that's what I'm also not considering. The, 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 this offer is almost probably too obscene, but could she do a night at a strip club, celebrity strip club or an OnlyFans and cash in a similar amount? Probably. Um, all of that just sort of proves she has, she can get the money. She can give the money to charity. She can pay off Johnny. Also, I want to know where's the house money going, Steph? Mm. Like beyond, she's not going to take this offer as she clearly, but now we know, well, you have it. There's offers for you to work. Stop saying you can't get the money, Amber. If, if you really want to pay off and help the sick kids, if you really want to pay off your debts. Here's an offer. Granted, it's not the ideal offer, but what about the house money? She's now going to clean, you know, she made a million dollars with a half what is a ton of profit will johnny be able to like force to be like hey there's money in the table where's this money going she owes us i wonder if johnny will actually do that i i, I sense he won't because he's been making it clear it's not about the money but what do you think steph i mean i feel like at a certain point his team should go after and collect the money no i've always said all along do not let her get away with it collect 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 it's as simple as that um but with the house sale the bit that jumps out to me with what you've just said there is that the property was original originally bought through a trust if it was bought through a trust then it could have been sold via a trust as well which means then that the pro the, sa the sale proceeds of that Yucca Valley property are not personally Amber Heard's. It goes to the trust, which is then right. <laughs> out of the midst of Johnny Depp and the team, which I would... Let's put it this way. If her lawyers and Amber Heard had any brain cells between them, I would safely assume they'd done that. 
without a shadow of yeah, a maybe doubt. Maybe she's still, you know, your facts. I mean, there's ways to sneak all this money, right? And there's also the fact that she could have just had a, still had a mortgage on it and it wasn't fully paid, still being paid off. Yeah. Who knows what the rules of the of that payment were, to be fair. So, yeah, and look, she clearly needs the money. By selling the house proves she's out of money. She has to now pull her assets. And uh, to get this offer is silly. I, I, I don't know how genuine they can actually do it. I've never heard of Zen Models. It seems like they have a company, but this is clearly a PR stunt for them. Um, and a lot of companies will sort of tap into new stories just to try to get in there. However, I do believe she could make that kind of money doing that type of job, but she probably could do it less obscenely and not have to go triple X, you know, like I, I that's extreme. Um, mm -hmm. But the fact that she's been a stripper, she's fine doing it in movies. I, I don't, I don't understand why she'd be so against doing only things. It's, it's not the ideal thing mm -hmm. for her career, but you got to support your kid. You got to pay off the debts. You got to reset your life. I don't, what's a lot of people are going to enjoy it frustratingly, but I don't know. I would, if I were her, since she clearly doesn't have an issue with it, and she was complaining all the time about Johnny not letting her be sexy and all this stuff, Amber, go do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get your money and move on with your life and get offline and then just take the money run, uh, yeah. is what I would personally think. I'm curious what the commenters think. As much as you hate Amber, should she take this offer and tap out and, and, and take this lifeline? Or is this, is this too much even for Amber? <laughs> I'm curious what the people in the comments are going to say down below. Steph, what do you think? Um, I think at the end of the day, if she takes it, no judgment, no what is it, fair play to her. As long as she uses it to pay off her debts, i.e. Johnny Depp, do you know what? Fair play. She's got to do what she's got to do and no judgment. Um, if she doesn't take it, I can kind of understand why. Uh, again, no judgment. But do I think this is a legitimate offer? Now, this website is not safe for work, guys, but I have had a gander on it. I think it could actually be legitimate, <laughs> actually, to be fair, mate. But with that being said, yes, even I am intrigued. What do you guys think? Sound off with your gobs in the comments down below. And if you haven't done so already and you love this video, why not subscribe? Check that notification bell to all. Give a nice like on this Steph. video and comment down below what you think. Hang on a minute, Andy. Make sure... I was going to say, make sure they subscribe because I got an Aquaman scoop dropping probably tomorrow. You're not going to miss this one. So stay tuned. Hit the subscribe, hit the bell, and support Steph the Alterner on Cash App at Steph Alternerd for all the work she did this week. You were amazing. Thank you so much, Steph. You're very and watch welcome. our video where Steph and I met. How did we meet? So many people have wondered. We'll put that video hopefully near the end or something. Yeah, that video will be in the comments down below, that particular link. And if you want some extras from Mr. Signor himself, then why don't, why don't you consider joining and becoming a Popcorn Planeteer today? You get extra bonus content from Andy and extra streams as well. But with that being said, it is goodbye from me and goodbye from Andy. You can catch me later on this evening at around about 8 o'clock UK time for the final night of the Steph the Alternate takeover for, 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 for Popcorn Planet when I can get my teeth back in. But with that being said, that is the end of this video what you're seeing on the screen right now a couple of videos that you may enjoy go on click on them you know they're tasty click 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 them click 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 i dare you